Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Uh, today, towed in, we have a 2016 Hyundai Sonata with 98,000 miles. Belongs to a student at Penn State, and apparently he's having some misfire problems. He took it to another shop. He said it stalled when he left the shop after it was fixed. They replaced some parts, I think spark plugs or something. So uh, let's scan it for codes, read the customer complaint, and see where this goes. Right off the bat though, under the hood, doing quick visual inspection, when I check the engine oil, these things are oil burners. Uh, this one looks like it's in the middle, so we're safe to start and run it. Now I did drive it into the shop, it seems to run smoothly, it had a little rough start, I think it's been sitting for months. The guy has not been driving it, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look. All right, let's see. I have a 2016 Hyundai Sonata. In August, I brought it to Firestone for an inspection where they noted issues with the spark plugs and ignition system. At the time, I couldn't afford to do the repairs and I had to postpone them. End of August, the car began driving roughly jerking movement. So I returned it to Firestone. They replaced all spark plugs, the valve cover gasket, and performed an oil change. Okay. They also noted a NOx sensor. I think it means knock sensor. Engine code and hoped these services would resolve it. However, when I came to pick up the car, check engine light was still on and I refused to drive it. <laughs> a Firestone technician attempted to test drive it, but I couldn't drive it at all either. Supposedly the car stalled when they tried to move it from the service area, something I only found out afterward. And then Firestone recommended taking it, uh, the car to the dealership, but uh, my friend Virginia referred me to you instead. Um, so that's the customer complaint. Obviously we did a code scan preliminary. ECM is one code. There it is. History, knock uh, signals, range performance. And when I drove it in, the check engine light was constantly flashing, but the engine seemed to run smoothly. No misfires that I could feel. So let's take it on a test drive, look at some scan data, see what's going on with this Hyundai. All right, here we go. Let's fire it up. Service required. Now the sticker says, it's due, like this month, at 99,000 miles. He has 98,000 miles. So I don't know, how did he drive that many thousand miles if the car was parked since August? Hmm. All right, let's try normal acceleration. The check engine light just keeps flashing, which is crazy. So it's definitely low on power. Oh. It, so basically it cuts back throttle, seems like. It doesn't want to rev. So I'm flooring it. So at low RPMs, it's fine. Doesn't want to rev over 2,000 RPM or even 1,500. I don't hear any vibrations or misfires or don't feel anything. It's driving perfectly smoothly with the check engine lights flashing. Let's pull over and take a look at live data. See if it's recording any misfires that are false. This is bizarre. Alright, so I have some data pulled up. Additional knock, noise signal of cylinders 1 through 4. Ignition output value, cylinder 1 through 4. And then total counter of emission relevant misfiring, I guess misfire counters are all zeros. A little concerning. The 
sound like a rod knock? Is it because it's trying to cut RPMs? Let's put it under load. Don't hear anything weird at all. We're going to have to look this up in service information. I've never seen this before. Alright, just for kicks, let's uh, clear fault code. Read fault code. No trouble code. Now, let's fire it up. Okay. Let's drive it some more, see if the performance is back. Oh, that did not sound good. So performance is definitely back. Let's warm up this engine oil and see if uh, See if there is a rod knock, see if that coat comes back and starts limiting our performance. Guys, whenever I hear that, whatever, rod knock, look at that, cylinder number two. That's crazy. So this computer is so smart, it can tell you which cylinder is about to let go and put a hole in your crankcase. That's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to keep driving it. We have plenty of evidence that... Um, that this engine is toast. They, they might have run it out of oil at some point, S spun a bearing. You would think it would be knocking more um, consistently, but that's the whole reason for this limp mode because the engine wants to preserve what life has left in it, which is not much. But I mean, it drives super nice right now until you give it some gas and then let off. Da -da 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 -da. And you can see it right there on the uh, scan data. Crazy stuff. So that's the quick one. No injectors or ignition coils or spark plugs are going to fix this Hyundai. Needs an engine. And he's under 100,000 miles, so may, he might get one under warranty. You guys hear that little squeaking sound? Oh yeah, there's that knock. I'm gonna lug it in high gear. Something's really kind of shaking, almost like a misfire under load. Let me take a look at the misfire counts. Actually, that might be the bearing seizing. <laughs> like, it's actually slowing the crankshaft down. Wow. I better turn around before this thing leaves me stranded. That bearing seizes right now. We're it, game over, guys. It's sounding really bad. So I'm wondering now. When the customer said the car started bucking, or whatever, and then he took it in for service, if that's when he ran out of oil. And that was the whole problem. It didn't need spark plugs. It needed an engine at that point. But they changed his oil, and now, um, <laughs> well, the engine's still toast, but it's, it runs, surprisingly. So that squeaking sound is the, is the seized spun bearing on its last legs. Hopefully you can make it back to the shop here. But uh, I think that's it. So on follow-up, I'll let you guys know if the dealership honors this warranty but we're uh, we're done did not expect this but at the same time I'm not surprised because it's a Hyundai oil burner and if you don't wash that oil you're gonna spin bearings I've seen these make it to almost 200,000 miles if you do add oil and then they still seize up so keep that in mind but 
Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm just coasting here. It's making a racket. The check engine light started flashing. Wow. <laughs>about to die. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, a little bonus footage. So I'm wondering if this engine can be replaced under warranty. It looks like there's an exact, you know, what we're having. P1326 engine bearing inspection replacement service campaign T3G. Um, it doesn't say you have to be below a certain mileage. So basically there's a flow chart. I mean, obviously the engine's toast, and here's how they decide if you get a new engine. So I hope this works out for the owner. This is a very common issue in these cars, unfortunately, uh, especially if you don't check your oil religiously, you know, every thousand miles.